Hi, this is Pete Mitchell from No More Kings, and you're watching Common Man Cocktails. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails! I'm your host, Eric Jordan. That was me, Ann Andrews. Just changing it up. We are going to make a cocktail today. We're mixing this up blood wine style. Clean I was blood wine. Star I was... My brain. Star Trek, not Star Wars. Okay, yes. Different. All right. The other... I was going to go back to where you were talking about being a good speaker. Starting oh, yeah. and stopping. That, that just didn't happen, right? Yeah, it's okay. that one. It's like... Boom. <laughs> We're gonna make a cocktail, and this is not. A, this doesn't make any sense. This is gonna be the Klingon blood wine by There's Kyle. There's no wine in it. Kyle, no, no wine. No, oh, that would be stupid. Um, is this COC Kyle? No, no, no. This is okay. Kyle T. That's why I put a T there. Oh, okay. Because Kyle W. would be the COC Kyle. Nice. Hey, Kyle. Every time I hear Kyle, I want to go. Hey, Kyle. Um, so this is gonna be an ounce of tequila. I refuse to use Jose Cuervo, which was listed. You know, what we also refuse to do no. Get some stepper jiggers so we can measure this shit out. I got all this utensils and tools, and I didn't get any jiggers. No, but that's I, why we have Jennifer here. Because they're right behind her. Right, she'll have that's to get those. Awful convenient. Yeah. One of these days she'll start paying attention to us too. Right. Hey, Jennifer. I'm paying attention. <laughs> get off <laughs> YouTube. I thought she was selectively ignoring us. No. I only do that sometimes. What do you want? Stepper jiggers, or anything that measures anything? stuff. Yeah. Whatever is convenient for you at the time. Oh, you get one of each. Get them a tape sure. measure. Let's see how they do. Okay, measure. <laughs> I can do that. Those measure. I'll figure it out. Yeah, we got about two inches of liquor in this <laughs> All right, I'll right, fill this up two inches, next one four inches. But it takes off the two inches, so it's really another two inches. To make four. I don't get dirt. Right. One ounce of tequila, or one inch. Um, one ounce of spice rum. Is that a liquid measure or a solid measure for a, t a ruler? <laughs> what? A ruler. Liquid or solid measure? You can measure. It's a simple question. No, read the instructions uh, no, though. Add the Tabasco. Listen, you just got a show to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to add Tabasco to this bitch. Two dashes. <laughs> two dashes. So, two dash Tabasco. Oh, that's splash dash. Two splash dashes over ice. And then we're going to add. A, it has tequila. to be a pint glass because this is blood wine. Blood wine. Uh, we're going to add tequila. Then we're going to add rum. Then we're gonna add grenadine, which can gonna be completely lost, but it will add some sweetness. Oh, it's a dash of grenadine. Yeah. Or is that spice rum? This is spiced. That's spice rum. What did I say? Right, you rum? Oh, yeah, yeah. You just said. You rum. can use Captain Morgan. I use Captain Morgan Sherry Cask because it's so much better than original Captain Morgan, which is like piss wine. That's a dash, um, right? That's a pour, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then so this might be a little sweet. Doubtly. Fill with cranberry. It's gonna be a little dry. It's gonna be a lot of dry. Um, what? Do you remember that? No, I'm just looking. Oh, see okay. if I had to do anything else. Special. You got exercise, and then you got to do three chopper jacks. And ooh, I smell the Tabasco. We got to do. This. Oh, we got to shake it a little bit too. Yeah, we did. Get out your color coordinated oh, shaker. Give, give Derek some space. All right, we okay. got to do two there's, shakes. There's space there. and now we're done. Just two shakes. Yep. Because anymore you're playing with yourself. Oh, you said it before I did. <laughs> That's right. Sorry. Cling on blood, blood wine. wine. Looks like um, cranberry juice. Tequila, spice rum, Tabasco, grandine, and cranberry juice. Oh! Who comes up with this shit? Smells like spicy Dude. tequila. <laughs> Kyle T comes up with this. Are you get, are, yeah, that's right. You getting raided over there, Don? Oh, no, I'm doing a shitty job of raiding. Ooh. Oh, I hate that. I smell the Tabasco. I hate that, especially when it tequila. looks really easy and you go in yeah, and you like just it. get oh, annihilated. Yeah, that's what's happening right now. Like, really? Bernie. How does that happen? Bernie! It is Bernie. It's weekend at Bernie's. You just did that, didn't you? Mm. That's, That's not bad. Happened. That's kind of neat. It's it's spicy, but it's not. It's weird. It's spicy, a little sweet, and it's like a habanero margarita. Yep. It is. It's like a. Uh, it is wow. for two dashes or whatever you did. I did splash dashes. <laughs> splash dashes. No. It shit splattered so on the ice. Your your normal dash may be a little less spicy than Ian's. But I don't understand. There. Dash to your own tasting. <laughs> there with Take only purposes. two dashes, it's hot. Like right, it's you not. Think it would be a lot more diluted, but it's not. Yeah, it it. But it's hot down in the back of your throat. Your mm. lips are fine. You're not getting like hot lips or anything. Uh, Is that a mash reference? Yeah. Okay. Wasn't that hot pants? No, oh, hot lips. Was it hot lips? That was the girl mash. Yeah. Really. Mm -hmm. Hot pants are what people wear. I knew that. I realized that. <laughs> <laughs> Hot lips are what, just what they use. That's easy to drink. <laughs> <laughs> That's not, easy something to bad drink. is about to happen. No, it already happened. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually... That's better than cranberry juice. It's got a cool balance to it. Yeah. With the spiciness and the sweetness and the dryness. I don't taste any alcohol. I just taste, I taste fire and dry. 
And berry. Lots of cranberry. Oh, you're right. There is definitely. I taste tequila, but not alcohol. The spice like, rum is gone. Yeah, you get the you get the I agave get the, the, flavor. Agave is magnified. Mm. This should be called the Klingon agave magnifier. Or oh, the Klingon blood, Klingon blood wine. That was if what you want to stick to the I, recipe. I don't know. I'm just talking what they would call it in Klingon. Oh, okay. This is American. This is translated Black for duck. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Octong. No, wait, that's true. That's <laughs> they sound a lot alike, though. That's true. Yeah. But the, but they're both real languages. Wow, this is something that could go down really easy and dangerously. Yeah. Mm. It's but the spice oddly makes me want to keep going back for more. I know, right? I keep doing that. It's weird. <laughs> it's like it's hot, and you're like, mm. I I think I need a sip. Oh, it's hot. Oh, I my, need a sip. Oh, my mouth burns. Oh. I need something to cool down. <laughs> exactly. Damn, that's hot. I need something to cool my mouth down. What I just said, but ah, he's acting it fuck. out for you. Oh. oh. <laughs> I'll do this all day. No, he won't. He throws up out his nose. Up my nose. Yeah. You get spice in the nose if you cough. Oh, heads up. That's. Be careful for that. Yeah, be careful. If you drink too much of this, you're gonna be peeing that stuff out. You don't want to pee out. That's all up in there. Capsaicin. Capsaicin. You don't want to pee that stuff out. Oh man. But it'll keep you from getting a UTI. Hmm. A UTI or the worst. And this is great for your that, metabolism. Is that swollen it's got penis syndrome? <laughs> Or a urinary tract infection. Yeah. I think it's swollen penis syndrome. That's SPS. That's worse. SPS. Oh! <laughs> Speaking of what? Of that. <laughs> That's SPF. Yeah, I know. Check this out. <laughs> Let me guess. <laughs> yeah, it is! Seriously, you guys have lube? This show just went to a whole new level. No, no. this is where you put your booze when you're traveling yeah. somewhere tropical. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's, like, it's a flash. <laughs> <laughs> this is the SPF 30 version. So you, you just pour your booze in here. I'm guessing you should probably wash this first, but whatever. <laughs> it's awesome. It comes with this. It comes with the handy dandy little funnel. So people are gonna see you it's, basically eating suntan. This is just yeah. to get it on the boat. Pouring suntan <laughs> looking so into sure. your glass. My guess <laughs> is great. you take it on this way, and then you can get it. I I don't know where you bring this through, but I was about to say so broad spectrum. This is SPF 30. What's up? That's right. Oh God. <laughs> That was weird. <laughs> oh God! It comes with aloe vera, 100% waterproof, non-greasy, eight fluid ounces. I wouldn't want this to be greasy. Right. I'll be putting so it in then, my mouth later. right. What you do? That's what she said. That's what she said. Is then you can go out leaks. later, and when your friends, you're, you're hanging out with your friends, you could just like, guys, Check stash, it out. and it smells just like what it really is. I don't know where you can get these, but they sent it to me from Gopal. I, I it just arrived in the mail. I'm like, I had to show this off. <laughs> and I, I let, I've had them for months, but I I couldn't. I was like, what's this I box? Like I opened it up. I'm like, oh yeah, the, the sunscreen flasks. You, you know what? Because like when you go on a cruise boat, you're not allowed to bring any booze with you on the boat. You bring sunscreen, and it doesn't look suspicious. <laughs> That's right. You just need an awful lot of sunscreen. <laughs> <laughs> just everyone, I'm importing it. Everyone puts their own in their own bag. Yeah. That's right. So what you do is I'm before Irish. you. <laughs> yeah. Would that work? Do you think they would? Know? I mean, it would work until they catch on. Like, that would work. if if they see everybody bringing these on, they'd be like, "Oh, that must be a new brand. I'll have to well, go they, Google that." They don't like go rummage through everybody's luggage, but they'll scan everything and they'll see, "Oh, suntan bottle lotion, no problem." No, they, uh, they go through the scanners. They don't open everybody's bags. No, no, I totally legit. I just yeah. mean, if they start to see, I mean, if you start to see like everybody coming out with the same like thing, you see them all over the. the the boat as you're hanging you're out. Well, that's why these are small run like, <laughs> <laughs> Because here's the thing: while it probably oh would make more sense, this is a huge one. <laughs> if, if, if you fill, if you were to pour this when nobody's looking, no big deal. But you know, no, you, if you have enough people, you some guy is gonna be like, <sighs> no, you don't, you don't. When you're on the cruise boat, you don't walk around and drink out of this. You bring this to your room, so you right. don't have to pay the cruise boat prices for drinks, and you can get your buzz on before you leave your room. And then you only have to drink like one or two. Exactly. You just have to do maintenance drinks. <laughs> it's got a name! Uh, Basically, the sole purpose of these is to pregame. Yeah, it's, it's exactly. all about pregame. And get away with it. Right? Yeah. And not have to pay the high price of pregame. Or pre if you go to a football game. Sporting baseball, events. Baseball, yeah, sporting oh, yeah, sport. events. Hotel pools. Yep. Yeah, cruise, cruise ships. ships. Yeah. Beach resorts. Beach yeah. resorts. Yeah. 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 Concerts yeah. and festivals. Because you you, you, if it's summertime, you're at Woodstock. Well, if just it's a sunny winter day, you lakes. can still burn. Just, just don't bring it during snowmobiling. It's not going to fly. No. No, no, <laughs> no skiing. No ski lodges. Uh, that would be a little weird. I'm sure they have a device for that. So it's yeah. each device. Uh, each one holds eight ounces. Wash with soap and water before use. Whatever. Uh, not dishwasher safe because they're they'll melt. Melt. Yep. Not intended for. Oh, not intended for illegal purposes. Of course. Not. Yeah, that's what they have right, to right, say. Yeah, it's for 
Legal. You know, legal well, purposes. Well, sporting events, it's not illegal to bring this to a sporting event. It's just against their rules. You're not going to prison. What I think they mean is, yeah. if you're 18, don't carry this around a vodka. For entertainment purposes. Yeah. Only. Right. Always drink responsibly. That's yeah. cool. So check it out. You can Google. You can go to gopong.com and check them out. Flask. I don't sell. They them. have all sorts of different P &P alcohol imports. smuggling devices. <laughs> this, this is one of the. In this one, you don't even have to smuggle any rectum. Yeah. <laughs> Which is awesome. I know. Because last, mean... last, last time my booze tasted weird. <laughs> <laughs> did you did, did you put it like some sort of cellophane first or anything? It had, oh no! It had <laughs> <under>. <laughs> I was drunk by the time I got on the plane. But <laughs> that's true. That's true. That would happen. Lo lost something you, by the time. <laughs> that's why you you're yeah. supposed to use like that that coating that seal, like you would use for a shower to keep water out. You just seal yourself up first, and then you can put the alcohol in there, and everything will be fine. It won't taste any weird. Next time. <laughs> On that note, John had a question of the day. Question of the day. He has two. Today is when grilling season comes and you grill metal tongs. Everybody does some test clacking with them, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. And sometimes I grab onto people's ears. Everybody does that, right? Some test clacks. Yes. I don't know why do they do that. There's another question of the day. But how's that a question? Do you test clack when you when you grill? Do you test clack? Or that's a yes or no. So that's a yes or no, and then we have a more abstract question. We do. When did you become a fan of CMC? Oh, when did you become a fan of the show? <clears throat> what year? Eh. Or week? Last year? Still I don't think I knew Yesterday. Still <laughs> Doug's, uh, uh, still uh, me over. <laughs> Don's still evaluating. Uh, <laughs> He's just waiting for some booze. Here, try this. I'm not, I'm not committed. <laughs> He's not They're being patient over there. <laughs> right. All right. We're done! Yeah. So now you go get this, you go make that, you take that, you put, put it in this, this, and you bring it to... Yeah. Um, wherever you're going. And if you don't want to keep this, you can just kind of nibble off a little corner and like like you're chewing on it and you gotta squirt some in your mouth. Or, or what around. is your best way to sneak booze into an event? Best way to sneak booze into an event? In my body. <laughs> Pre-consumed. Yeah. <laughs> you already drank it. It's in, in your stomach. <laughs> Ate his whole whatever. Smuggled. Right before you walk by the security guy, but finish. right after you get to the event. Yeah. <laughs> so it doesn't quite hit you until you get through. Right, and then you're in maintenance, as we've learned. Yes, that's the rule. maintenance buzz. Maintenance buzz. Everydaydrinkers.com. Awesome, awesome drinks, drinks for whatever com. else we sell. Oh, for whatever. Yeah, no, that's. Every we get you out of drink. <laughs>